All right, everyone. So I want to show a video on the installation of the rear upper control arm. So here it is. We've got our handy dandy 89 CRX SI. I'm sorry for the sun. Um, I removed the wheel already and thought, okay, you didn't need to see that whole removal of the wheel. Um, because this is really more about the upper control arm. Um, the rear upper control arm. So there it is. And just, uh, uh, I'll show you the new ones in a second, but looks like I'm gonna have to remove this bolt and then these two up here. And I hope I have long enough extension there. So we'll see. All right, an interesting thing, I gotta say, you know, I might be missing something, but my God, these two look exactly the same. And they're supposed to be one for the left and one for the right. I don't want to mess it up, so I'm going to listen to the instructions. The 520671 uh, is the rear uh, left one. This one is 520672. This one is 520671. And that one's supposed to be the rear left upper. So... And like I said, they look exactly the same. Maybe I'm missing something. I could be missing something, uh, but I'm gonna follow instructions. And this one is gonna go on the left. So 520671, rear, left, upper. And first thing I'm gonna do is uh, remove the old one. All right, so use this guy, this little breaker bar. I needed an, an extension. This is 14 millimeter socket and loosen those bad boys up right off. Um, this is also 14 millimeter and I'm gonna need uh, a wrench to hold on to this while I loosen this guy up. So um, just needed a little bit of an extension to seem to work. All right, actually before I start to loosen this up, actually what I ended up doing was putting the jack under the uh, lower control arm there just to give it a little bit of support. And then I put the uh, pieces of wood there. All right, so so a little bit of support there before I start to actually remove the upper control arm. All right, learning le learning lessons. Um, I didn't need to put any any uh, hold on this. It looks like this is part of the the, the hardware. I did need to uh, uh, loosen this guy up and pull this by this bolt out. And it's a 14 millimeter, same as these two. And these came out right away. Big learning lesson is that absolutely needed to support this in order for this whole trailing arm not to fall forward and give me too much uh, pressure here. So uh, now I'm gonna remove it. Before I started loosening it up, I was playing with it to see how much play there was. And yeah, there was a lot of play in here. And just to show you, if I pull this bolt out and take this, uh, you can see it's it's worn out. It's it's worn out. I mean, it's 89, so this is 30 something years old. So it could definitely stand to be uh, replaced. Alrighty. So what I decided to do was to attach uh, the control arm to the uh, to the frame here or to the car here first the bolts are, are uh, not fully tightened um, and now I can play with wrestling this into here um, I think I'm just need to kind of push the trailing arm a little bit more and um, and then I can uh, kind of wrestle this in all right so I definitely needed to raise I raised the jack up uh, uh, via that block of wood and the lower control arm to raise the, the trailing arm to meet this upper control arm. And now I'm starting to bolt this stuff. I need to start to bolt that in the, uh, all the way deep in there. But I won't do, I won't torque it up until everything is at ride height. So um, I'll need to do that, but I absolutely needed to lift this guy up. Uh, so now I'm just going to start to uh, pre-tighten stuff. Alrighty, so some of these are, these guys are pre-tightened. Um, I need to lower the car 
to ride height so I can torque it. The torque specs for this guy is 40 pounds and these two are 29 pounds. So according to the manual, 29 pounds and 40 pounds. So I'm going to lower the car a little bit more, get it to ride height, and then um, torque them up. So there you have it. I torqued it up, 29 and 40. I had lowered it to ride height, and now I'm raising it back up to put the wheel on. One thing I did have to do, though, I did have to use an extender. Um, this one's a little longer than the other one so I needed that additional length in order to kind of get all the way deep in there and clear all of this stuff here so just FYI but it torqued up nicely and now I'm gonna put the wheel back on and do the right one all right the right side is pretty much the same layout I jacked it up left it on blocks so I could use my jack and just supporting the lower control arm Lifted it up a little bit um, so that I gave myself a little bit of slack when I remove this right upper control arm. All right, so the right one went on really quickly because I already knew the trick of raising the trailer arm um, via the jack here. So it helped me to position this piece really quickly. So I'm just going to snug it up, snug those up, and then lower the car and then torque it up um, and that should be it alrighty so it's all installed and up to torque uh, one lesson though that I learned is that it really helped to have all of these extenders so that I could get far enough away from the car and still be able to uh, uh, torque it so these extenders really did come in handy so there you have it folks, you can't really see it, it's hidden in there, there it is, and it's all up to torque, okay, um, and put the wheels on, and uh, it just really helps to have the right tools. I'll make a video of how the ride feels in a bit, I actually want to replace the shocks with coilovers, and I think my next big project will be to replace the trailer arm bushing. I've never done that before, um, but I feel it needs it. So that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please like and subscribe if uh, this content helped you out. Thanks a lot. All right, folks, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but when I went back and looked at the video and I was editing, I realized that this is actually put on incorrectly. So I'm gonna take all of this off and do it again, flip this around. Um, let's see how it goes. Alrighty, so I turned it around, flipped it around. It actually went pretty, went in pretty easily. Um, and I'm gonna repeat the procedure. Again, can't stress it enough. It was great to jack it up over here. And it was great to have all of these extensions. All right.